Okay, yes. Mm -hmm. So uh, let us just uh, briefly uh, remind you uh, our setting. Um, there will, will there will be no calculation, uh, essentially. And so let us start from uh, start from a simple case, two variable um, continuous function that uh, defines. Uh, so here, uh, mu is a measure. Uh, reference measure we call reference measure on C and this function uh, induces um, operator from L2 space to the self given by um, this integral we denote again by KF an integral operator Fy d mu y. So um, by well-known um, theorem, um, this operator uh, K, this kernel, we call this kernel, um, again induces a probability on the space of configurations on C that is a uh, um, subset of C without accumulation point. So here is our C and we denote element by X so it's just a collection of um, particles in C um, probably uh, there will be infinite one so this is our x. These points are our. So the collection of all these points are our x. Um, so this probability we will denote it by p k. And uh, yesterday we uh, write we wrote two um, formulas that characterize uh, uh, this p k. In fact, this p k just uh, gives us a way to choose randomly um, some um, subsets um, which is uh, locally finite. So, and uh, also we have already know it is uh, uh, important to, um, to have this property to, to introduce this thing, spa measure, spa measures, of p k at p, so let, what is this? This is by definition. So I will go give only intuitive definition. This is uh, This is just uh, um, okay. In general, p k p l distinct points in C. Um, this is, so here, this is random. Random subsets of C uh, with distribution. PK. And the uh, um, parameters at this is um, the conditional measure conditional distribution of this random thing. X, but I erase these particles um, provided we are in the event. We know the event uh, provided that the event, the following event happens. Uh, this P1, PL is in X. Of course, uh, uh, this is a zero event, a zero probability event. So, uh, 
it's not uh, uh, direct to, to say this, but uh, intuitively it is such a thing. So um, this is exactly what we uh, calculate yesterday. The conditional thing, we fixed some, for orthogonal polynomial ensemble, we fixed some last uh, P1 to PL, and we considered the uh, conditional uh, distribution. And we will denote, uh, we denote this conditional measure by um, P, um, K, so let me write it, P with a uh, underlying. And we are interested, in fact, um, in calculating um, the rather negative derivative of such thing. We are interested actually, in fact, uh, in P and Q, but with PQ, so here Q is the of the same length. But later we will also say something about when PQ, uh, the length here's L, here's K, uh, where that, that is, that is uh, different. Okay. Um, in fact, yesterday uh, we also see that the orthogonal polynomial ensemble, then this conditional measure itself is given by uh, another orthogonal polynomial ensemble, and which is, again, um, uh, induces a determinant point process. And uh, this fact is, um, in fact, is general. This, uh, there is a theorem of uh, Shihai Takahashi which says the following. Uh, so, we, if we denote, um, so, okay, so the first thing is um, PK, this uh, conditional measure is again a determinant point process and we kernel, which is explicitly given, with kernel uh, given by the following. So uh, for stating the kernel, uh, let us write in a simple case, when p, the length is just uh, one, then this is very easy to write it. Um, the kernel is k, we denote by kp1, kxy equals to k x, y, minus k, x, p1, k, p1, y, minus over p1, p1. Um, in general, this is, we can iterate this. In general, this k, p, bar is given by k, p1, so this is a, a new kernel. Then we do the same procedure for uh, P2 and etc. Um, L, and actually there's a um, explicit formula for this, which is given by um, determinant of K X Y K. Um, okay, let me write like this. Determinant of K, P, I, P, J. Um, here is for um, zero from I, J to, um, there's no zero in fact. Uh, set P zero to X. Um, P zero to, uh, this is X and Y. Um, Okay, I don't think, so. uh, this is, okay. I, I still need to write it, probably. So, I'm not allowed to be lazy. Uh, K, P1, so X, P1, K, X, P, L. This is um, K, um, P1, 
one y k um, p one p one k p one p l and uh, k p l y k p l p one k p l p l and divided by uh, the determinant of this uh, um, sub matrix. This is given by determinant of k p i p j for i j from one to l. So, in other words, we can write it in a compact way. So. This new determinant point process is just the determinant point process given by this kernel. So in writing, it's very simple. We removed the put here to here, and but the meaning is here is the uh, this power measure, and here is a determinant measure. Uh, given by this explicit kernel. So um, there's an important fact exercise. Um, assume that K is an orthogonal, pro orthogonal uh, projection, then um, a certain projection um, of this thing, mu to k l. So some subspace is some two. Then k p this just one point. K p is the orthogonal projection, the kernel of the orthogonal projection onto uh, the subspace given by the following f in L that vanish at particle uh, p1. Uh, there's in fact a subtlety here because usually a function L2 we cannot say uh, the evaluation at one point, but here since our kernel is continuous uh, or nice kernel, there's no, uh, at least for our purpose, there's no um, subtlety here. Okay. Now, let me uh, give, uh, let me state our theorem and explain, um, give an intuitive uh, explanation um, how we get uh, uh, such a result. So our setting is the following. Um, we fix a function which is, uh, say, too smooth, um, such that the Laplacian is bounded from uh, below and above. I think this is uh, probably not essential, but uh, uh, let us focus on this. And consider the uh, following, following uh, uh, measure on C. Where lambda is the, the big measure on C. And then we define the generalized weighted Fox space determined by this uh, lambda phi as uh, those holomorphic functions on the whole plane such that uh, it is. Uh, um, integrable, square integrable with respect to this measure. It turns out this is a closed, closed subspace of L2CD 
and phi. So the orthogonal projection onto this uh, Fox space is called the generalized uh, um, Bergman kernel or Fock Bergman kernel that we are denoted by pi phi. This is uh, the kernel, the reproducing kernel of this space. That means uh, for any f in this holomorphic and uh, a uh, square integral with respect to measure, then f is actually given by um, this uh, uh, integral equation. F um, d um. So, for example, um, Example, the simplest example and the probably the most important example is for uh, the function that correspond to the Gaussian measure. So this d lambda phi is the uh, Gaussian measure. And uh, uh, in this case, uh, if I don't make mistake, probably there's uh, one half somewhere. It's given explicitly by, by this very simple uh, formula. Okay. Uh, any questions now? So we are interested in the determinant point process generated by uh, such kernel. And in particular, for this uh, important example, um, the determinant point process, P pi, this is uh, a probability measure on space of configurations of C, um, when in this example, um, it has a name, a Geneva point process, which is uh, the limit of uh, eigenvalues of Gaussian uh, non Hermitian uh, matrix. So, um, we are going to uh, call this a generalized uh, uh, Geneva point process, and uh, uh, we have, remember that uh, we would like to, uh, to compute um, the, um, these themes. We would like to understand uh, the derivative to, of such themes. And uh, um, we already have such, uh, the kernel is just the orthogonal projection on some uh, subspace. So, now we are interested to the following. So uh, this gives uh, um, our original Fox space gives rise to this problem, gives rise to um, this original uh, point process. And uh, if we consider the subspace F but those functions vanish at point P1, PL. Then this, we have an orthogonal projection onto the subspace that has denoted by uh, P uh, underline. And this orthogonal projection gives us the um, point process. And by Shihai Takahashi, this measure is exactly the measure that we are interested for, which 
will appear in the calculation of co-cycle of uh, uh, the diffeomorphism on such space. So we do the same thing here. We have something here, and we get we obtain a kernel that depends on Q, and we obtain the point process here, which is again given by Shihai Takahashi, Nissim. So now, our purpose is to understand uh, the rather negative derivative between such two point process. So it is very natural to study first. So everything, in fact, uh, if we completely understand the relation between these two subspaces, probably this will give us some information um, for these two point process. Um, and the reason that we study uh, such kind of point process because there's a very simple relation between uh, these two subspaces. And uh, uh, this is uh, actually a very simple uh, proposition um, which can be also a good exercise uh, which says that um, P equal to Z minus P one P L um, Z minus Q one Z minus Q L F This means, so uh, this is a function multiplied by a space, which means uh, um, I multiply each function inside the space by this function and, and put them together as a, new, uh, as, as a new subspace. So this means here if we denote GPQ, this is just those function f, GPQ, um, F is in the space Q. Of course, this is very simple because a holomorphic function that vanish at Q1 to QL, they can be divided by this polynomial. And the only fact with that we need to check, and this, of course, the, the, this one vanish at this point P1 to PL, the only thing we need to check is uh, such things is indeed L2 uh, with respect to the uh, measure. Okay. Then it turns out this function is very important. And we have the following. Um, this function appears in our calculation. So we can start with uh, with the simplest case where um, this psi is radial. So this theorem is so we have in fact two two steps, and the, the version that I will present here is obtained uh, one week or two weeks ago. Um, so, okay, the first case, when phi is radial, which means that phi z equals to phi z modulus, in particular, uh, I just erased this uh, uh, Gaussian case, uh, it's in this uh, case, so then, the first thing is the following. Limit um, that 
depends on P, Q. So I, I will write P here as P1 to PL. It's Q, it's, uh, Q1 to QK. So this limit uh, infinity product of the particles inside our uh, set without accumulation point times uh, this function to modulus 2 square x minus pi x minus qi for square i l this exists in L1 duration space with respect to this measure Q. Uh, this is in the case when P when K equals to L um, actually uh, this is the most difficult part uh, to show such 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 product, which is which will uh, uh, turn out to be an infinite product, actually converges. Um, the second thing is um, we can compute explicitly this the expectation of this. Uh, uh, Limit second delay the expectation of P psi phi Q bar. So, always under this assumption, um, psi P Q is given by. Uh, the following quantity. Uh, so this one, i j less than l, q i minus q j square, and the same thing. So this is a fundamental determinant to power two, p i minus p j square times determinant of phi uh, pi pj uh, this is from i to l determinant ij from 1 to l the same thing for q j and uh, so in particular this means we can calculate explicitly um, the uh, okay, okay I haven't say uh, in fact and also the radon team derivative is indeed given by these quantities very explicit same so this is given by uh, determinant of this um, qi qj over determinant of um, pi pj um, times um, the inverse of this pi minus pj square i less than j i less than j for those qi minus qj square and times times this limit psi p Q, X. So the third thing is when L and K are different, then actually um, we cannot compute uh, the uh, radon de de derivative because they are just a singular. Um, this and uh, this. Uh, singular. 
they are supported in disjoint uh, subset, uh, singular. Um, I would like to say that uh, um, this result, when uh, this phi is uh, just the Gaussian weight, then uh, the result, the same result, similar result is already obtained, is due to Osada Shikai, but with a very different proof. Um, this case is due to Osada Shikai in uh, 2015. So, okay, this is uh, the um, radial case. Um, how many times? To 12, okay, 10 minutes. Um, so, probably I will not have time to explain uh, how can we uh, get such result, but uh, still let me uh, state the result for non radial case because it seems more, uh, there's something uh, interesting there. So, in general, general phi, um, so first, the following is true. The following limit, again, exist and denote again by so the the case a will be a particular case of this the limit of exponential of integral and some function that one will define later, sum of function PIZ minus QIZ, I from I1 to L, pi phi Z, Z, D lambda phi Z, times uh, the rest part. So this is a correction term which in radial case will be one. X. And I from one to L. X minus PI. X minus QI square. So here, KP a point KP, so for example, KP1Z is given by uh, two radial part, or real part of the following function, P of Z. Ah, I forgot actually, this should be um, some R, P, Q, which is explicit, big one. We want to erase the uh, singularity at zero. This is explicit one. Plus p square over two z square, and uh, of course, if uh, la la lambda the phi is radial, this is um, forget this. It's just uh, uh, the integral will uh, indeed be zero, and uh, um, so everything. Every other thing, other things in case A holds, everything holds, um, except we do not have yet, we, except we haven't yet got a, um, um, at, uh, um, we haven't got yet the explicit uh, uh, computation of the expectation, explicit uh, uh, expectation formula, um, which in fact 
conjecturally is the same thing. It's just, just we, in some, um, in, some uh, in some proof, there's one step we cannot, uh, uh, we haven't yet uh, overcome that difficulty. Mm -hmm. So I have five minutes, so I will uh, briefly um, give a, okay, I forgot one thing here. Uh, one, uh, this is uh, one beast. Uh, oh no, it's here. So the singular and in particular, I can say it probably, okay, there's this point process um, is um, gauche Paris rigid. So this is, this is already, uh, again, tr um, true for the general case. This rigid means um, this point process, if we know uh, the configuration outside the uh, uh, compact set, then we almost surely know the particle inside this uh, uh, compact set. Okay, so... Um, Uh, no, this is not consequence. This is uh, the way how we prove that they are singular. And uh, uh, actually, the most so an uh, important uh, thing that we need for uh, all this computation is uh, estimate of. Uh, uh, so it's really from um, complex analysis of uh, a, a result of uh, um, Christ. Christ's estimate of the kernel, which says that um, we have um, such thing, is given, is controlled by some fixed C and uh, the off diagonal thing. So, it goes exponentially fast to zero. This is the uh, one main ingredient. Okay, I still have uh, a few minutes. Let me briefly uh, give, uh, give the uh, intuition of this. So if we forget every um, these limit things, uh, we just prove that the rather negative derivative is some constant times uh, such thing. And uh, remember this. Remember that this is just uh, the function between two, um, two kernels. So in general, we have the following theorem, um, but uh, which is very technical. Uh, this is 2015. Uh, if we have an L, this gives us the projection pi, and this gives us a uh, point process. Uh, this is not, uh, so it can be point process on some abstract uh, um, phase space, not just a C. And we have a function G, for example here, um, okay, for simplicity, let us take G positive. It's not essential. GL, some, some function here. We get new projection, pi, let me denote by pi g. And we have, we have a new point process. Then, and uh, a technical assumption on these pair, on such pair assumptions on pi and g. Um, so, in, so roughly speaking, the rather dim derivative can be computed. Can be computed um, as this, a constant, then constant, 
normalization constant of g x. So, but actually, this and this is just uh, roughly speaking. This product usually, so in general, never converges. So we indeed need, like here, this this is kind of some principal value. So we take the product over uh, first the product over some uh, ball. Then we let the ball goes bigger and bigger. Uh, okay, uh, let me stop here.